Hey everybody, welcome back to the Balanced Vibes podcast. My name is Gersten, as you probably know, and I know I always say, but I am really, really grateful that you're here spending this little bit of time today with me and listening to my thoughts on food. So today I'm going to answer three listener questions. And by the way, if you have questions, you can send them my my way too. You can leave a comment on YouTube. You can also DM me on Instagram. My name there is my first name, last name, K-E-R-S-T-E-N-K-I-M-U-R-A. And you can, of course, always email me if that's the best way to get in touch for you. But at the end of today's episode, I have an announcement for you. So make sure that you listen until the end of the episode. I think you're going to love it a lot. Let's just say that if you have been thinking about trying macros and how they feel, what they can do for you, if you want to learn more about nutrition, want to learn more about how you can change your uh, well-being and your strength and your physique and your your body, then you're going to love this. It's going to be something super fun. I'm really, really excited to do it, but we'll get there at the end of the episode. So make sure you stick around and let's get started with the listener questions. Okay, so the first question today is how accurately do I have to track my macros? So let's say that you have a plan that you got from your coach and this plan has number of protein, number of calories, number of protein, number of carbs, number of fats for you. And your your job is to follow these numbers as well as you can. So how accurate do you have to be? And I would say the more accurate you are, the better it is, the faster you get to your results, uh, the faster you achieve the goals that you had. But I always want you to make sure that you don't stop living your life. So for example, a couple of weeks ago, I had a client who asked me, hey, I know this is my number, but my daughter really wants to bake these cookies with me today. And can I have it? Can I do this? Or it's going to, you know, my my carbs are going to go over a little bit. So what I'm going to do. And in situations like this, of course, if you can pre-plan those cookies uh, to your day, that's awesome. But on the other hand, if this is like a spontaneous day and your daughter wants to bake with you, then I think it's sort of fine. So I'm never going to say anyone that, hey, you cannot do this because you know, you're going to blow your carbs um, because this is going to set us up for a really, really bad, bad relationship with food. So the, the idea here is that Of course, you want to track as accurately as possible, as close as you can. And if you want to be really, really good at it, then there are some guidelines. If you can stay within plus minus three grams of fat, plus minus uh, five of carbs and proteins, that's awesome. But at the same time, I don't want you to go crazy. Like I said, there has to be some freedom. And of course, there's going to be days when you will be eating out. You don't know how many calories are in certain foods. And honestly, the last thing I want you to do is start bringing uh, your full scale or something to restaurants. Um, I've heard people do that. I personally have never done that. And but But I know that people have done it. And this is not normal. This is not healthy because yes, we want to uh, get stronger. We want to get fitter. Uh, but believe me, like a couple of grams here and there, one untracked meal or like a meal that you couldn't know, didn't know exactly what it's gonna you know gonna look like macro wise. It's not gonna hold you back. What can actually hold you back is that when you get so so restrictive that you start avoiding uh, getting together with friends or family or baking with your daughter, going having a meal out, these things will actually start holding you back because uh, you're going to restrict yourself so much. And I don't want you to cut yourself out from your social life either. So make sure that you, you know, follow your plan the best you can. Okay. Do everything you can, but at the same time, keep living your life, enjoying food, having good time with your friends and family, because if it's like things like you're not uh, hanging out with your kids or baking with them, these are the times you never get back. And you don't want to think back later and be like, oh my goodness, my, my uh, carb count was more important for me than hanging out with my daughter. So these are my thoughts on that first question. How accurately do I have to track my macros? Okay. Um, but all that being said, I wanted to add kind of like a second part to it. Uh, you still have to put in some work. Okay. So I know a lot of people say that, you know, eating should be super, super effortless, should be easy. easy. We shouldn't be thinking about, we shouldn't be having to think about calories and macros all day long. And I agree. I don't think we have to be thinking about macros and calories all our life, but I do think that it is important that we learn about food and we learn how to be intuitive. So I like the idea of intuitive eating. It is great, but I feel like we have to learn 
what are the best ways to eat intuitively because a lot of people will go really wrong if they only um, trust intuition so that's why i say you have to put in some work if you want to see some change and putting in work may look like tracking your calories and macros for a little while it definitely looks like learning about food learning about the quality of food learning about what food can do for you and also it can how it can potentially harm you yes it is true that it can harm you so we can't ignore these things and just say hey just eat intuitively it's fine you should never track anything it's a bad thing to do so um Intuitive eating, like I said, it's a great idea, but if our intuition tells us things that don't serve our body, then it's not such a good idea because we haven't learned yet how to be intuitive in the right way. So just today I was talking to somebody who said that I was eating 1200 calories and she has amenorrhea, she's not feeling well, she's feeling really, really weak. And she said, okay, out of interest, I actually started tracking my calories and I realized that I'm eating 1200 calories, but this is what my intuition told me to do. And here's the problem, right? So if somebody like this gets this advice, hey, eat intuitively, she will never eat more than 1200 calories and you know, try to get your peer back like that. It's not gonna happen. It is not going to happen, especially if you keep running and doing all the workouts. And on the flip side, if there's somebody who wants to lose weight, wants to change your body composition, even if the goal is not weight loss, even if the goal is simply to put on muscle and let go of some of the, the body fat, you have to know what you're doing. But if your intuition tells you to eat a certain way that doesn't serve you, it's not gonna happen. And I've shared my experience several times. This was exactly me too. After I had recovered from HA, during which I ate what I wanted. It wasn't like super bad or anything, but it was definitely really, really lax, which was fine. But at the same time, after I had recovered, um, I kept eating randomly. I, I was not paying attention. I definitely over, over ate and my protein was definitely low. And I remember at one point I had tried tracking some calories and that was before I knew anything about macros yet. I mean, of course I knew what carbs, fats and proteins are, but I didn't know more specifically. I didn't know how much protein I should be eating. And I tracked some calories. And then looking back to those old logs, <laughs> I was really, really high uh, on carbs. And I had very, very low uh, protein intake, especially considering that my weight back then was probably close to 170 pounds. I was not eating a whole lot of uh, protein at all. So um, we have to put in some work to see results because if we keep doing the same thing over and over and over again, no change can really happen. How could it happen? And this is why I, I kept waiting too. You know, several years after HA, I was like, I wish, I wish something changed. And I, I started, you know, working out more consistently. But a couple of things, I didn't push myself. I didn't uh, lift up heavy enough weights so I was still kind of like doing a little bit of something and I was not paying any attention to my food and things started to change only when I started to learn more about macros when I uh, first got my protein right when I started uh, looking at my calories a little bit closer this was the time when uh, things started to change and then of course I added heavy weights I'm telling you again I think most of you listeners are women um, put away those those five pound dumbbells they don't do anything for you they really don't other than you know there's some like therapy like therapy use maybe um, if you have an injury and you have to recover from that this yes, for, for this uh, purpose they can be used but if you want to build muscle if you want to speed up your metabolism heavy is where it's at okay you gotta lift heavy weights otherwise you're gonna keep waiting for forever to see any results so your food has to be um, if, if, your your calories, your tracker, your macros have to be right for you, and you have to put in some work. Nothing comes without work, and we we like this idea. Yes, let's let's just see what our body feels and do that. And cool if you if you like where you're at right now. Keep doing it because clearly it is working for you. If you're not getting the results that you want to get, then something has to change. So you gotta put in some work and learn how to take care of your nutrition. Okay, and the last uh, thing I want to address today is Thanksgiving. So in the US, Thanksgiving is this week on Thursday. And how should you eat at Thanksgiving? So a couple of my clients have had this question. How should I eat at Thanksgiving? Should I be uh, tracking? Should I weigh my food? What should I do? And my advice uh, would be to don't not track. Okay, not don't not track. Don't track. <laughs> don't track your food at Thanksgiving. It is cool. It's totally fine to take a break uh, for one day, uh, but that, that doesn't, doesn't mean that you're going to eat like there's no tomorrow. Okay, let's not treat that Thanksgiving day that way. Let's treat it so that, okay, I'm going to make really good choices. I'm going to eat the things that I love. Yes, I'm going to have dessert. Yes, I'm going to have wine, but it doesn't mean that I have to have all six desserts and like uh, three bottles of wine. It also doesn't mean that we have to, you know, uh, 
eat just like overeat and like feel gross and feel really stuffed and, and really full uh, at the end of the 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 day or the night it means just making the choices that make you feel really really good because nobody nobody likes to feel like stuffed and gross and heavy which is unfortunately what a lot of people feel like after um thanksgiving dinner so what i recommend you to do instead is to focus on as always eat enough protein this should not be a problem if you eat turkey if you eat meat then there's your protein then have your vegetables enjoy a glass of wine whatever the things things are that you like but also pay attention to you know not having things that you don't like not you don't have to eat anything just because it's there and that's kind of like a typical thanksgiving thing to have if there are foods that you don't really care for care for then don't don't uh, make yourself eat them eat the things that you like and we have to we have to kind of get rid of this uh, scarcity mindset that oh it's only this thanksgiving when i get to have this therefore i have to eat it let's say that you don't absolutely care for stuffing but you're like oh it's there it's thanksgiving i gotta eat it no you don't have to eat it so make choices that work for you that make you feel happy that make you feel satisfied that you truly truly enjoy and enjoy your thanksgiving dinner you're gonna be fine the next day no punishment please right no extra workouts, no three-hour cardio, that's fine. If your uh, trainer tells you that you have to do extra cardio, just walk away because it's not true. Your next day is going to be the normal day, just like it would have been otherwise. Do your workout if you were planning it, go for a nice walk. I have nothing against that, but don't push yourself to do like three hours of cardio just because you ate a little bit more the day before. So these are the questions that you had, and uh, I hope it was helpful. Um, but now to this uh, announcement that I have for you. So from today until friday i have a special offer for you if you have been thinking about trying out macros but maybe you have been feeling a little bit intimidated you don't know how it's gonna go what to expect if you can do it and what it can do for you and if that's you then i have an amazing offer for you so only from today until friday or while spots last i'm offering one month intro to macros uh, program for you and it's going to be crazy cheap very very affordable it's going to be 99 dollars only and the regular price for something like that is 249 so this is a huge huge discount and it's only for this uh, thanksgiving period so make sure that if you have been interested in macros and wanted to know how they can work for you that you sign up for it and i'm going to put a link in my description of the show in the the blog um youtube channel and it's going to be on my instagram bio too and during this time we're going to work together really really closely we have one 30 minute call every single week so four calls and also between the calls we're going to keep in touch via the signal app which is text messaging app that you can use whenever you have any questions and you can see a good change dur during these during these four weeks uh, you will definitely notice increased energy and less hunger between your meals a lot of people say that their skin is getting better and i'm actually going to share more of these uh, changes that some of my clients have experienced only after four weeks of working with me i'm going to share these things in the next episode so you can uh, feel inspired and actually do it because i know that you probably have been thinking about it you may have been a little bit curious so let's do it this is really really a unique uh, opportunity i'm not going to offer that anytime anymore not for this price so it's only 99 dollars now and um, I am expecting that the spots are going to go really really fast so if you have been thinking about it if you've, if you've been curious about macros now is really the time to see how it goes uh, what it can do for you so make sure that you sign up the link is literally everywhere where you can find me on social media sign up and let's see what we can do so thanks again so much for being here today if you have any questions please feel free to send them to me comment below if you're watching this on youtube or send me an email dm me on instagram my dms are always open and thank you again and have a good rest of your day see you next time bye bye